everybody, Beanmeister22 here. You may have seen some of my previous video where I talk about slot machines and how you always lose at slots. But people still like to play the slots. Yeah, they're fun. But you know, casinos, they make their money off the slots. It has been said that casinos make approximately 90% of their profits off their slot machines. So really, if they're making 90% of the profit of that whole casino from the slots, how are you going to win? Because you're not. And in one of my previous videos, I simply stated, hey, the only way to win at slots is not to play. The odds are you walk into a casino with $100 in your pocket and you play the slots, you are not going to walk out with $100 in your pocket. But why do people play slots? Well, th there's reasons for it. And it's, they're common sense reasons, but yet then again, they're not. All right, so you have these slot machines. You put the money in, or you swipe your card, or you, you put the credit thing in, you push the button, bells, whistles, flashing lights, cool sounds, great pictures. Enjoyment. It triggers things in your brain that says, wow, I'm having a good time, this is fun, plus you could win millions of dollars, this is great. Flashing lights, noise, music, yeah, it's entertainment. And that's the, the trick, the big scam. They have you believing that playing slots is a form of entertainment. Because really, it's not. I know, I know. Oh, you know what you're talking about. You're full of it or something. I have a good time. I play slots. I win some. I lose some. Well, okay. Let's set that aside. We'll go back to that. But if you play just for entertainment, you could buy your own slot machine for between, I don't know, $100 and $200, and you could just be entertained all day long at home. So it's not just entertainment. Well, yeah, I want to win money. You know, could I? Well, okay, so now we're not talking about entertainment. We're talking about winning money and getting rich and making money. Entertainment, that's an excuse. It's a scapegoat. Now, I'm not going to rehash a bunch of the other things that I've talked about in the other slot machine videos. You want to go watch them? Go watch them. You either like what I have to say or you won't. But here's the thing. When you talk to friends, they'll tell you about yeah, I had this big win, I won $300 or $700 or I won $50 or $150. So you can't tell me that I can't win at slots because I win at slots. I'm lucky. All right, lucky? Yeah, I don't know about that. But I know people who go to casinos all the time. I'm sure you guys do too. I have friends who go to casinos a couple times a month, maybe two, three, four times a month, sometimes once or twice a week. And no, I don't live in Vegas or Reno. You know, I've been to all these places, Atlantic City, but I live in a state where even the state lottery owns slot machines and poker machines and video machines. So pretty much any bar and most restaurants will have slot machines in them. It's kind of like how Vegas used to be and, you know, Nevada. When as soon as you crossed over the border from California to Nevada, you could stop at a 7-Eleven store. There's a slot machine where you used to have video games there and gumball machines, and you got slot machines. I'm playing the slots at 7-Eleven. And that's why going to Nevada, I mean, that was it. You didn't even have to go to a casino, or you go to a small casino. You didn't have to go to Reno or Vegas. We just go cross over the border go to Winnemucca or Susanville. So going back to the point about talking to friends about their wins, let's say they go... To a casino say four times a month they'll tell you about five or six big wins they had last year what about all those other times where they didn't win well if you don't win you're losing right there's this thing that gamblers do they don't consider it a loss if they only lose the money they intended to spend so if we're going down to vegas this weekend and you bought your plane tickets and your hotel room and you have your meals and whatever you're drinking and food and everything. So you have all those expenses. We'll set those aside and you have $1,000 to gamble with. If you spend that entire $1,000 gambling and don't win anything above and beyond that, hey, I didn't lose any money. I just spent my entertainment money because I had some entertainment. It's a psychological thing. It's a cop-out, really, because you, you just lost $1,000. Plus a couple hundred dollars for the plane tickets and then several hundred for your hotel and your meals. So, you know, that's two grand right there but people don't consider that or they'll have their thousand dollars gambling money they'll spend that thousand dollars and then they'll win 150 they say yeah I want 150 in Vegas oh so you came back with eleven hundred fifty dollars well no I spent that thousand dollars you know on entertainment and, and gambling I want 150 it's a natural human tendency for people to say hey look what I won and forgetting about what they spent 
to win that. It's like people who buy lottery tickets. Let's say you win $1,000 on a scratch it ticket, but you've been spending $20 a week for the last eight years. Well, no, you didn't win $1,000. You spent all that money to win that 1000 so the guy who just spent $1,000 at Vegas to win $150, no, he's down $850. He didn't win $150, he only lost $850. So let's just be honest about the whole thing. If you have $500 to spend on gambling, playing the slots, whatever you're going to play, roulette, poker, whatever you're playing, if you don't walk out of that casino with that $500 in your pocket, then you have lost money. So how do you win money at gambling? How can you come out ahead? Well, there's two ways. The first way I've been promising to make a video about this method for years, but the laws have changed and the rules have changed. It's sort of legal. It's sort of not legal. It's a gray area. The only surefire way to win in a casino, yes, we've already talked about not playing, right? But the only surefire way to win at them slots is to not put money in the machines. That method is called the credit hustle. No, it's not some kind of hustling thing on a street corner or something. So you've all probably seen it. You've walked up to a slot machine. You say, hey, there's a couple credits on there. So what do you do? Nobody's around. They're not at the machine. They've just left it. They've been playing there for a while. They've lost a bunch of money, and they're stomping away. Normally what somebody does is they don't like give the machine a pull, and they see if they win something, you know. But if you took that credit you found on the machine and cashed it out and put it in your pocket and then turned it in, you just made some profit off a slot machine. You didn't risk any money. That's a credit hustle. Casinos didn't used to care about this sort of thing as long as you were discreet, you weren't causing any problems, but now there were so many people doing it. If the casinos see you wandering around a gaming room checking every slot machine like a kid on a phone booth, you know, a phone, remember phone booths? Like a kid checking the phone booth or the gumball machines looking for a free gumball or, or some change in the slot, the return slot. If you do that, the casino's going to throw you out. So when we used to do that, we kind of, we, we made it look like we were supposed to be there. You dressed up, you had a good time, you have a little money, put a little in the slot machine. If you come up to a slot machine and it's been abandoned, there's $20 worth of credits there. So you do several spins, spend five of those dollars, cash out, you just made $15, or sometimes you might have made more. That's the credit hustle method. But like I said, you really can't do that anymore because now there's all these scams where one person will come up and distract you and start talking to you. And then someone else will come up alongside of you on the other side, push the cash out button on you, and steal the slip and boogie on out of there before you know what happened. They just stole whatever money you had on the machine. So the credit hustle method, it's out. You can't do it anymore. But when we could do it, the idea was if you look like you're supposed to be there, they never messed with you. You wear the... Panama hat, and then you got the Hawaiian shirt on, you got a drink in your hand, spend a little money, they never cared. I think the most I've ever made doing that was about $300 in a night, and I probably spent another 100 of that, so you had 400 total. If you're spending money, they don't care. At least that's how it used to be. It's not that way anymore. So here is the new BM22 method, and this works, but it's not going to work for everybody, and I'm going to tell you why, because you have to be disciplined, yeah. You have to have discipline or it won't work. Everybody and their brother will tell you, you got to have a limit and set that limit. So no matter what, $50, $100, $20, you spend that money and what's gone, it's gone. And let me tell you, you might win once in a while that way, but all that's doing is limiting the amount of money you're going to lose. If your limit is $100, you go and you play the slots, $100 is gone, hey, you're done. You didn't win, but you limited the amount that you're going to lose. And that makes sense. That's common sense. Even casinos will tell you to set a limit and stick to it. But what I do, and there's no guarantees in this. I can just tell you it has worked for me, and it has worked for my friends who've tried it too. And look, and I ain't hustling you. I'm not selling this to you. I'm just telling you this is what we do, and it's worked. And you've seen those ads. Yeah, you send me 1995, and I'll tell you the secret to winning at slots. And then you get the thing in the mail, or you, you get the package, and it says, How to win at slots. Don't play, sucker. And you just spent 1995 to, uh, yeah. It's a good lesson, though. And maybe you'd listen if somebody said, Hey, that's a secret. Don't play. If you paid for that advice, it might be worth more than somebody who gave it to you for free. So first, yes, you set a dollar limit, and I like a $20 limit, and yes, that's low, but there's a reason for it being low. So you set a dollar limit, and then you set a time limit. 
And really, I had never heard that before. I stumbled on it. Because what I noticed is when I'm playing a slot machine, you usually, you know, you'll lose a little bit and then you'll win. You'll win for a little bit and then you'll end up losing everything. How can that be? So here's what we do. You have that $20 limit. So that's your money limit, $20. You go into a casino. You have $20 to spend on the slots. You put the $20 in the machine. When it's gone, you know, you're gone. No more. Just 20 Not 20 per machine. Not 20 per visit. Like, you know, if you go to the casino now, then come back in a couple hours. No. $20 a day. Bam. And five-minute time limit. Five minutes? Yes, five minutes. I found that usually in that first five minutes, you know, there's a chance you're going to be up. And more often than not, I found that I've been up. But after that five minutes, getting into seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve minutes, thirty minutes, then you're losing. Now I know the first thing that you're going to say is, "What's the fun in that?" It's not about fun, remember? It's not entertainment. It's the bells and whistles trying to get you to believe it's entertainment. It's not entertainment. It's about going in there and making money. Remember, if it was about entertainment, you'd buy your own slot machine and play at home or play video slots on your computer for free. You know, you know, not the ones you pay money for but the ones you, you just play for fun. I'm sure your phone even has an app to do that. But it's not about fun or entertainment. It's about making money. All right, so you go in there, you put the money in the machine, you play, you got that $20 limit, and five-minute time limit. Now, yes, you have your bonus spins and everything, and your bonus spins can keep going, but when that last bonus spin is done... And your five minutes is up, you are done playing, you cash out, and you walk away. You don't go to another machine, you don't go to a different room in the casino, you don't even cross the street to a different casino, you're done. And all I can say is if you don't believe me that it works, try it, because it, it's worked for us. And it's worked fairly well, you're not going to get rich, but you're going to leave with more money than you, than you went there with. So what we did here, we did a test. We went to a gaming room, it's the equivalent of a casino in my state, we went to a gaming room and we played video slots. And remember, video slots aren't any different than real slots, it's all a computer program saying, hey, what it's going to stop in and how much you're going to win, all right, so we just get that out of the way. Ten visits, ten days in a row, went to the gaming room, $20 limit, five minutes, that's it. So on Big City 5 here, we won $161.25 minus our original investment of $20. That comes out to $141.25. Yeah, you're not going to get rich at that, but we just we walked out of there with $141 more than we walked in with. And remember, when you're watching these videos, look at the time clock. We keep the time. It's right there. It'll tell you when we started playing and when we stopped playing. Look at the time. Make sure we're not going past the five-minute limit.
this is one of my favorite games, the American Original. I like this game, because I do pretty well at it, or sometimes. Put $20 in the machine, five minute limit, won $156. Which, after we take our original $20 out, put it in our pocket, that's $136. Day three, we selected the Big Easy. $20 in, we went as low as $12.50, and we ended up with a final of $85.10. Minus the 20, $65.10. We're not getting rich, but we just walked out with $65 more than we walked in with.
Wildlife. I hate this game. I've never liked it. I did not select the game. We put our $20 in. If you'll notice, there was already a $1.25 credit on the machine. Somebody walked away and left it. To many people, it's not worth it for them to cash out just a few dollars to walk up to the window or walk up to the counter and get their money. It's not worth it. As you can see, in less than three minutes, went from that $21.25 down to just $0.25. Cents. Bam! We lost that day. Day five, played American Original. There was a 60 cent credit on this, so we started at $20.60. We went as low as $14.10. We ended up at $71.60, minus our original 20. $51.60, pure profit, not a lot of money, but still we made 50 bucks. Today we played Blazing Slots. Now there's a lot of reasons why I lost on this one, but first off, I didn't even know how to play. 
Because all you slot fans out there, you know that if you don't know what you need to come up, if you can't wish or will the right things to come up, then you're going to lose, right? Yeah. No, but seriously, from $20 down to $0.60, cents, and it was pretty quick, this day was a loss. But remember, we didn't lose our whole $20, we only lost $19.40 of it.
once again, we're playing Big City 5. This is one of the first games I started playing on the video slots, and I kind of liked it. So we ended up here winning $100.70 minus our $20, $80.70. Hey, it's still 80 more bucks than we walked in the casino with. We were as high as $123.35, but within the five-minute limit, we ended up dropping down to that $100. So yeah, if we would have cashed out earlier, we would have won even more money. And as we cash out, you'll see we get $128.20, and that's because we looked at some of the other machines there, and they all, well not all the ones, but all the ones that were near us had extra credit still on us. We just cashed those out, brought those tickets up there with us, and we ended up with an extra $27.50. There was nobody even in the gaming room abandoned credit. That was the credit hustle method right there. And it wasn't on purpose, because, you know, there's nobody there, there hadn't been anybody there, we were alone in the room the entire time, and we weren't just going to leave that extra credit sitting on those machines, right? All right, 128.20. So you got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 125, 126, 127, 128, and 10, and it's 20 for you. Today we're playing Gypsy Moon, another game I hate. I didn't select this game, and as you'll see, there was 25 cent credit already on the machine, put in our $20, and in one minute, less than a minute, we were down to zero, bam, lost that $20, we left. Now it's back to one of my favorite games, Big City Fives. And you can't win every time because we went from $20 down to 15 cents in about three minutes. So we just lost, what is that, $19.85? Pretty quick. But we're not going to throw good money after bad. We lost. Bam. Get out.
It's day 10, and today we're going to play Arctic Spirit. This is one of the early games that I used to play and thought, hey, this is pretty good, but it really doesn't pay out that much. We got as high as $40.85. We didn't cash out. The beautiful Miss Eve said, oh, no, let's just keep playing. And I said, you know, you don't believe this method? Yeah, let's just keep playing past the five-minute limit. And then we ended up cashing out at $30.30. So we made $10.30. We could have made $20.85. Yeah, we're not going to get rich, but I would rather have that extra $10.55 in my pocket. But this goes to show you, if you keep playing too long, you're not going to go up. The amount is going to go down. So that was 10 days. We did 10 days in a row, and you can look at the timestamps there. It was usually late morning, early afternoon, and it helps to have some place like this pretty close to where you live. Because I don't know anybody who's going to get in a car and drive for a couple hours to go into a casino or a gaming parlor and just put $20 down in five minutes of their time, then drive away for a couple hours. It's not going to happen. So that's the trick that has worked. That's the method. The BM22 method is your dollar limit. It doesn't have to be 20 It could be $50 or $100. But you got to have that five-minute time limit. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe that it works, that's fine. Next time you go to a casino and you start playing the slots, step up to your machine, Sit down, put the money in, watch the timer, set your timer, look at your phone, look at your watch, and then see where you're sitting cash-wise five minutes into your play. You do that several times, and then you'll start seeing, wow, at five minutes I was up, and then I lost it all. You do the math, write that number down, figure out how much extra you would have won if you would have stopped at five minutes. So when I first presented this method to at a lecture I was doing, people kept asking, well, what if I get up and go to another machine? You know, I don't know, but it's probably not going to work.
We've already determined that casinos make most of their money from the slot, so if you get up ahead, you need to get out. Chances are, if you get up and go sit at another machine, you're going to lose that money. And everybody says, well, as long as I'm playing with the house's money, I'll just take that profits and play. That's fine. If your goal is to go to a casino and break even, then why go at all? Because you had to spend all the money to get there, or hotel, or food. Unless there's a casino in your hometown, you can just walk there or drive there in 10 minutes. But nobody's goal is to break even when you go to a casino or to break even when you play the slots. And yet people brag about breaking even. Yeah, I lost money, but I lost the house's money. It wasn't my money I lost. Okay. And if you enjoy playing the slots and you say, well, I'm not going to spend $200 on a slot machine to, to play in my house. So next couple times you go to a casino, add up the money you just spent and say, hey, would it be worth it for me to spend $100 or $149 or maybe even $300 on a really nice slot machine for my home? Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. Five minute time limit and then set your dollar limit. I use $20, it doesn't have to be $20. Each day we went to the casino, we had six wins. So six days we walked out with more money than we walked in. Four days we lost which means we didn't have as much money when we walked out as we had when we walked in. And if you've made it through the video this far, if you get nothing from what I've had to say, get this. Slot machines are designed to take your money. The bells, the whistles, the sights, the sounds, the thrill of maybe winning a bunch of money, which you probably are not going to win. They are designed to take your money and make you believe, falsely believe, you're being entertained. If you can pull that veil away and see behind the curtain and you can see, wait, this is a big scam. I'm just being manipulated here and understand it and be insulted by this manipulation. Then if nothing else, maybe you won't lose so much money. And I also want to apologize, some of the video footage was not all that good, and we couldn't use a lot of audio footage, or we couldn't use any audio footage, because of legalities, and casinos really aren't that big about you filming, so yeah. But this was definitely for educational purposes. Hopefully you got educated here to not waste your money in a casino. And if you're going to waste your money in a casino, certainly not on the slot machines, because they're designed to take your money and make a fool of you. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. The good, the bad, the ugly. Tell me how you really feel. Tell me I'm full of it, but hey, you saw it right here. And if nothing else, remember this. I didn't say, hey, I will tell you the secret if you pay me some money. I just said, this is what we do. This is what works. Try it or don't try it. Here's the proof. Believe it or don't believe it. It should be a little easier for you to believe that we're just tossing it out there and showing you opposed to trying to charge you money for it. All right, so leave the comments in the comment section once again, and hey, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.